Roll for Crit presents How to Play Keto in 5 Minutes or Less or More. Keto is the head-to-head dueling samurai action game designed by Thomas Song and published by Table Forged. In Keto, each player takes on the role of one or more samurai. The first player to have all their samurai eliminated loses, making the other the victor. You'll begin by choosing which of said samurai you want to represent you. Each player rolls two dice and High Roller gets to choose first, taking one of the available samurai for themselves, followed by the other player. Then the process repeats so that each player ends up with two samurai cards. Choose one to be your active samurai while the other goes on reserve. Samurai have an attack value, how much damage they deal, a health value, how many attacks they can withstand, and a special ability. A samurai's ability occurs as soon as it is made active, unless it's preceded by a set of numbers, in which case it'll occur later on depending on dice rolls. In addition to their two samurai cards, both players will also have a set of Bushido cards in front of them numbered from 2 to 12, plus one loyalty Bushido card. This is where you'll be placing combat cards. To start things off, two combat cards will be revealed. Starting with the player who rolled lowest earlier, each player chooses one and places it onto any one of their Bushido cards. Each Bushido card is associated with two different numbers, and combat cards have abilities that can be triggered by dice rolls later on, depending on the number of the Bushido card it's attached to. Damage cards make your attacks more powerful, defense cards let your samurai withstand more attacks, and kata cards offer more strategic decisions. Now that both players are set up with an active samurai, reserve samurai, and set of Bushido cards with one combat card between them, the game proper can begin with the combat round. In the center of the table, there will be four randomly dealt hit cards from a total deck of eight, face up with their names clearly visible to both players. Now, both players need to get ready with their hands at their sides. A third player will take on the role of the reader, and will have a matching deck of eight reader cards. That player will draw the top card of the deck and read it out loud. If the named card matches one of the four cards in the center, it's the job of the two samurai players to try to hit the correct card with one of their hands before their opponent can. First player to hit the correct card wins that round. Then replace the called hit card with a new one from the pile and shuffle the old one back into that same pile. If the card that was called isn't currently on the field, then the reader waits until both samurai players are ready and repeats the process with a new random card. If you hit the wrong card, your opponent gets the opportunity to rearrange one of their combat cards or one of your combat cards, moving it to a new Bushido card of their choice or swapping it with a combat card on a different Bushido card. There's also the Suki card. If this one is called, then any card on the table is a valid target, and the first player to hit any card wins the round. In case of a tie, draw another one. If the player who won the round gets to deal their active samurai's attack value to their opponent's active samurai, chipping away at their total health value. Then move on to the Bushido and damage phase. In this phase, both players roll two dice and add them together to get one number. That number corresponds to one of your Bushido cards. If the Bushido card rolled has a combat card on top of it, then that combat card is activated and its ability takes effect. The loyalty Bushido card is special in that it is activated by rolling not a specific number, but doubles of any kind. Doubles would also activate the Bushido card that matches the total value of your dice roll in addition to the loyalty card, potentially letting you use two combat cards in the same turn. Again, damage cards add more attack power to the winning samurai's attack. Defense cards reduce damage from the opposing samurai's attack if it got through. The strategy card lets you rearrange combat cards. The counter card deals the same damage you received for that round to your opponent. And one final card to be aware of is the Dishonor card. If you get stuck with one of these and its Bushido card is activated, it gets turned upside down. If it's then activated a second time, your active samurai dies regardless of their current health level, and the Dishonor card is discarded. In addition to Bushido cards, your role for this phase might also trigger your samurai's ability depending on its assigned number and conditions. Next is the drafting phase, during which two new combat cards are drawn from the combat deck. The losing player of the previous round gets to choose one first, adding it to any empty Bushido card they'd like, then the winner does the same. If your Bushido cards are already full, you can choose to replace one with one of the new options. However, Dishonor cards can't be replaced by new cards during this phase. Then, players go back to the combat round and begin again with a new hit card being called out. If a samurai's health is at zero at the end of the Bushido and damage phase, it is defeated and removed from the game. If that player still has a samurai in reserve, they make that one the active samurai, activating its ability if relevant. 
If their last samurai is defeated, they lose and the game is over. If you don't have a third friend, you can also have hit cards be called out via randomly selected audio clips on your electronic device of choice. You can also play in teams, in which case multiple players sit across from each other at one table and face off against the samurai directly in front of them, attempting to hit only the cards specifically assigned to them. Or you can rotate positions with an odd number of players, switching off between samurai and reader until only one player is left standing. In conclusion, call cards, hit cards, activate Bushido cards, draft combat cards, become one with the blade. That's Keto in a nutshell, did you get all that?